So this is part two, and part two is overclocking the uh, RX Sapphire, well actually the Sapphire RX 570 graphics card. This has got four gig of memory. Now this is an awesome graphics card, I do actually like it. It's done really well, um, I've done all the benchmarking, I actually didn't run really that many, I didn't run into many problems at all. Obviously if you're going to overclock and you want to get a stable overclock, you have to do it to get a blue screen, errors and everything like that. Done all of that, and then I've also put a little tutorial into this video. So, if you want to know how to overclock, especially if you've got this graphics card, it shows you straight to the point of how to overclock your graphics card and what kind of software to use and everything like that. And yeah, it's straightforward. It gives you a baseline to actually tinker with instead of like finding out like where you can overclock. Even though you should do that, find out where. You can overclock when you start artifacts in and when you start to get blue screening and error codes and crushes. That's what you're meant to do. But I just thought I'd help you out in this quick video and a quick tutorial of showing you like what the Sapphire graphics card can do. Especially if you're going to do mining and stuff like that because you can overclock it and uh, make it run faster and stuff like that. Even though I'm not happy with the miners at the moment because they're killing the market of graphics cards at the moment. All the graphics cards are going up with inflation. So it is kind of a 50-50. I don't know. But anyway, straight to the point. This is part two. If you haven't watched part one, go and check it out. It should be in that left hand corner, that right hand corner, or a link in the description down below. And uh, basically, enjoy the video. Right, I'm going to teach you how to quickly overclock your graphics card, especially if you've got an RX 570 by Sapphire, and uh, this one, its core clock is 1340 megahertz, and memory clock is uh, 1750 megahertz. Now, basically, I've got it up to 21,000 on the memory clock and 1425 on the core clock. Temperature limit is up to 85 degrees and I've got a power limit of plus 50 and the core voltage up to 96 This is where I've ran very stable and without any artifacting or anything like that So basically you can just look at this video right now and have this kind of where you can Tinker around with these settings and boost up your memory clock or your core clock depending on the silicone of your um, graphics card 
or if you start to get um, blue screens and error codes and crashes then dial back so what I would do is I'll click left click on here and use the left arrow key to dial back by one at a time so you can get different um, different results at the moment is in certain things you got really good it was good to overclock the graphics cards other times I wouldn't say it's definitely not worth it it's just like a little bit of a boost but yeah it runs really quite crazy it would definitely be awesome for mining it's pretty stable but to be honest with you, I didn't really I didn't really have much problems with this graphics card but I'm guessing I'm just more used to overclocking and playing around but so let's start off with what this would normally be on so looking at the screen, this is how it would normally look if you were to download uh, MSR Afterburner. You could download uh, something else and uh, use other software, but I'm using this one. I just prefer to use it, then I can have a window open and I can check the uh, voltage and I can use like Valley Benchmark and I can increase uh, the memory clock speeds and core clock speeds as well and power limit and everything like that while I'm actually uh, doing a benchmark. So this is how it looks like. So it's Nought, nought, so it's got nothing on there at all. Temperature limit still at 85 degrees. Core clock is megahertz is by 1340. And mega clock, uh, mem mega clock? Memory clock megahertz is uh, 1750 and fan speeds on default. And that's how I've had it. It's super quiet. And the highest uh, degrees that I've reached was like 71 degrees with it on default. So that's pretty awesome. Um, so all you need to do is just click on what you need to do. So I've already set the foundation and made it easier so you can tinker around with it. So if you put the core voltage to 96 or even less, because you, you don't really know what your graphics card is going to be capable of, but you can use this with other graphics cards as well because the core and um, the memory is slightly higher or lower depending on what graphics card and how much you spent. So power limit. I would actually put this to 50 plus 50 so that's all the way and then 1340 I would have that at 1425 and then while I am on screen if I can't really move it with my mouse I can just click on it make sure I dial in the right input so 1425 and then the memory clock I click on that and use the right arrow key and then boost it up to 1750 no actually where have I gone boost it up to hang on Yes, so I need to boost the actual memory clock speed to 2100. It's holding the right key down when I click on it. So if I click on hit here and then go 2100, this should give you an incline of what you could be, will get you there quicker to actually play around with the settings a bit more. And uh, yeah, as you know, it does take a long time to do all your overclocks and stuff like that and make sure everything is inputted in right. And that's what you got. So 96 there, plus 50, 85 degrees, 1425 on the core clock, memory clock, 2100. And all you have to do is just go to here and this will flash. I've got mine saved there already. Click on the one you want to save. So profile two, save. That's it. And then get on get your uh, 3D mark um, going, your valley, your superposition, your A, that's 64, your gaming, everything like that. When you build something, you wanna see how good it is. That's what you do. So this is the end of the review of that graphics card, which was in part one, but also the review of overclocking. It overclocks really well, it's pretty sick. I've enjoyed it and everything like that. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it was quite simple with a tutorial. I kind of done things a bit backwards and everything like that, but. 
the main thing and the main point was so you can easily have a foundation you can work off to tinker around to get your overclocks a lot quicker for this graphics card if you've got one especially if you're doing mining and not mining and also like the software to use i hope it's been good because if it is drop me a like and if not dislike it leave a comment down below share this video to everyone around the world if you can that does help out a lot check out the affiliate links down below gives me a great little kit back if you want to buy something and it's through Amazon or whatever, I don't know. Um, check out my website if you want to buy some merch and all that sort of stuff. Hoodies, hats, cups, bags, pens. I don't know. Anything. There's loads of stuff. And uh, yeah, um, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all that sort of stuff. For all up-to-date like, little pictures and all that. And um, anything else I need to say? I can't remember. But if not, no, I don't think there is. It's, it's a really good graphics card. Go and purchase it. I'll see you next one. Thanks for watching.